The kids are not all right. What the flipping heck is going on in schools? The National Education Union is currently being led by a man who thinks Britain is a brutally racist state and was elected to his position after a vote that had just a 9% turnout. One of the first things to happen then was the NEU called for more drag queens in schools. I'm surprised they found the time, actually, what with all the strike action. Oh, and then one teacher was forced to apologise after saying Rishi Sunak supports the murder of trans people. These are the people looking after your kids. Just bear in mind that a few years ago, more than 45,000 children aged between 10 and 17 were sentenced for knife crimes, the youngest of which was actually four years old. It was only last year that Departments of Education figures revealed one in four 11-year-olds were struggling with basic reading. The big solution appears to be to introduce men in drag to the fray. Presumably, the kids can take a brief interval from shanking each other to stare at someone who performs cabaret at a Soho nightclub. I mean, is this really where we've got to? Like, really? When concerned parents politely ask why there are going to be more drag queens in schools, the response is usually, well, why not? Well, no, I'm sorry, it shouldn't work like that. It wouldn't work like that with anything else, would it? Today's lesson is going to be taught by a robotic parrot. Why? Why not? It doesn't work like that. I've got nothing against drag queens at all. I don't think they're particularly dangerous or anything like that. I just don't understand how this has become a thing. I'm yet to see any compelling evidence to suggest that drag queens are a useful educational tool. The only argument is that apparently some children somewhere seem to concentrate more when a story was being read to them by a drag queen than Sheila from the English department. Well, I mean, I'm not surprised, although I'm not 100% sure it was a story they were focusing on there. Has it really come to this, where teachers are so out of ideas that their only solution is to bring in the drag queen? Now they say that it's important to challenge the heteronormative culture and curriculum that dominates education. Not the crime, the drug use, the domestic abuse, the illiteracy. No, it's the heteronormativity that's the problem. Just want to make the quick point that 75% of teachers are female, by the way, but there we go. And now, and now, we have Channel 4 getting fully grown adults to get butt naked in front of children as part of a show called Naked Education. I'm sorry, but isn't flashing kids a crime? Or anyone, for that matter. Back in schools now, though, children are allegedly being taught masturbation lessons or being asked about their thoughts on graphic forms of sex. And this all comes from Tory MP Miriam Case's sex education dossier submitted to the Prime Minister, which prompted an inquiry. A policy exchange report just released last week showed 40% of schools currently operate a policy of affirming self-identification. So kids go to them and say, well, maybe I'm a girl. And they go, sure, you're trans. Only 28% of secondary schools are reliably informing parents as soon as a child discloses feelings of gender distress. So they don't tell the parents. We also have graphic sexualised dance routines being performed by men wearing thongs in front of infant children. Now, look, in a world where you can be anything, why be a man in a thong wiggling your bottom in front of toddlers? I'm sorry, but I just don't think this is that normal. And we shouldn't let a very small but very vocal bunch of questionable fringe radicals normalise this stuff.